Hi, I'm Jessie Lewis. I'm on the 1455 board and I'm an educator and a writer. I write poetry and short stories and I am so blown away by the concept of a story. It's really hard to actually tell you what it means to me because it's everything. It is what makes us human. We love a beginning, middle, and end the way we know what comes in a heartbeat and the pattern, the cycle of it. Um, it's something that allows us to connect with each other even when we live in the middle of nowhere and uh, have this um, innate dedication to other people and what they want to tell us about them. So for me, storytelling is everything. Some people say that there's a renaissance taking place in television or in radio. And I say that it's not really a golden age or renaissance per se in those fields, but it's a, it's a golden age of storytelling. Stories are the way that we as humans process and make sense of the world. And that's gone unchanged for centuries. But what is happening now is that the tools to create stories are exploding. I really think of this next paradigm shift as being one of the age of immersion, the age when people are the heroes in their own adventures. People have an expectation now to be so much more involved. They want to be able to be part of the story. They want to be able to create their stories, to co-author. Storytelling isn't just fairy tales. It's raising awareness about issues around the world and trying to make an impact in our own capacity. Change and kindness, two things we need now more than ever to make a difference that are working every day to make a difference. Such as mental health campaigns, to raise awareness that it's okay not to be okay. The story behind the Smile campaign for I Survive, it's a campaign that's focusing using content on social media to raise awareness saying there is a story behind every single person providing free and trusted therapy and counseling for people who need it the most. And also eventually workshops for schools, high schools, universities and corporates, because we're living in a culture where people don't think that mental health exists. They don't think that youth are being crippled every day because they're anxious, they're going through panic attacks. But there are also artists using their talent to continue the stories of lives that were lost. Tahira Rifat, continuing the stories of lives that were lost during the Easter Sunday attacks in Sri Lanka. Say their names, remember their stories. Their families are still going through collective trauma, trauma experienced by a whole community or a country. They're experiencing PTSD and mental illness because of their loss. But continuing their stories gives people hope. It reminds people, you can live, you, you are alive right now. Take this opportunity to pay it forward. Take this opportunity to help other people out there. Volunteer, pay it forward, make a difference, make change happen.